Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan, if you're just joining us this afternoon, and we are playing Satisfactory, picking up in the Cybertron 1.0 save that we started just a few days ago, and we're going to continue on through trying to get the Phase 2 unlocked in the space elevator. It's a bit of a slog, but uh, we have some retrofitting to do with our iron and our copper production, and we have to try and unlock at least one more um, alternate recipe. We want to get the steel... No, the iron pipe. Iron pipe is what we're looking for. So we might go looking for a hard drive as well. Uh, there's also some research to unlock in the MAM. Lots of really cool stuff happening. And uh, we've been enjoying the playthrough so far. A number of you have also been enjoying it. Some people that are new to Satisfactory are having a good time watching me go through the early part of the game. We're in the grass fields, and that's a pretty wide open area. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Today, I do hope to start the iron smelting facility so that we can have all of our iron in the immediate area being smelted and turned into ingots. And then we can start to pull from like a main bus rather than having these individual systems right now. So um, it's been a fun afternoon so far. We played Minecraft for a little bit. So if you're watching this later, you can check that out on Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube or on Twitch. Uh, we'll have a couple hours of Minecraft on stream that's logged in a separate VOD. And there's a playlist actually now for this Cybertron series. So if you are looking through my Joel Duggan VODs YouTube channel, and you're just like, man, there's just so much because I've been playing this game for five years. Each year has its own playlist, but this particular playthrough has its own playlist as well. So you can follow along with just what we're doing in Cybertron. Dan, Grice, Sweet Sandy, Meto, good to see everybody hanging out here in chat. Uh, let's switch over and get into this game. So we're going to pick up really right where we left off last time, which is uh, we have the stitched iron plate alt recipe. And uh, we can actually uh, remove some of the screw production. We don't need the screws right now. We can start to make stitched iron plates instead of screw using the screws. So that might be the first thing I do just to try and expedite our production a little bit and reduce the need uh, on our iron. So what's happening here, if I can zoom in a little bit, uh, these screws that are being made right there are being sent into the um, reinforced iron plate production. That seems to be stopped for some reason. Oh, it's just back. It's just backed up. Uh, and uh, we don't need those screws here. Those ones in the middle. We don't need those anymore. So we can replace those with the wire that's coming out of that constructor and just streamline that just a little bit. So that should be good. Uh, we'll see what we can do once we get down there. Now I'm going to have to reprogram my brain. We've just been playing Minecraft for an hour and I'm going to be getting all the hotkeys wrong. <laughs> so bear with me. Uh, let's also see if there's anything we can put on our to-do list for uh, the ma'am here. Alien stuff. Um, I could make some of that, I think. Biomass and... Protein. Got that, and got that. I think that's all the alien stuff we have. Looks like it, yes. That opens that up. Research completed. Alien protein can now be turned into biomass or alien DNA capsules. In addition to being used for research, the invaluable alien life form data in these capsules can be traded for fix it coupons at the awesome sink. We guarantee the best capsule to coupon exchange rate anywhere on this planet. <laughs> we're the only people on the planet that's great uh three we can have even more inventory slots we can scan for organisms we can unlock the rebar gun so the gun and the inhaler and stuff these are not super important because we don't have the creatures on hostile we have them on retaliate so they only fight back if i decide to bother them this is pretty good, but that's a lot of cable that we don't have. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn these into the capsules. And sync them and see what we can get for points. So 
So that's three of them. We have no tickets and we've got 3,700 points to the next coupon. I'm curious what these are going to do. I've never used these before. Oh my gosh. It's a separate counter altogether. That was just three coupons right there. Nice. I will take that. Grab some more biomass if it's kicking around. Yes. Perfect. So now we've got seven tickets. We're going to unlock some um, aesthetic stuff, I think, today. We are out of cable. I might not need more, actually. We might be done with that. That might be something we can put in the space elevator now. Oh, did that automatically go up to the cloud? It did. Oh, no. What's happening there? Did we only make 10? We only made 10. I'm going to take this off the back here. Don't want that stuff going up automatically just yet. That needs... I think it only stacks to 200, right? You should have some cable in you. Some. Not much. Okay, so we've got wire, that's no problem. I'll have to keep the other cable on me. I need to check this as well. So we've got, not bad, so 1, 200, 250, we're 25% of the way there. That's not terrible. It's not terrible. Okay, so I need to check the recipe, the alt recipe for stitched plates. which I can't do because it's not unlocked in game yet, but we do have the satisfactory sheet. I was also looking at transformer designs. I think iron hide might be what we do for the iron smelter. That could be kind of fun. Let's do stitched iron plate. Reinforced iron plate. This is the normal recipe is six plates, 12 screws, for one reinforced iron plate. We are gonna use the stitched iron plate, which is 10 plates, 20 wire, and it gives you three per minute. Uh, so I think uh, that that's going to be a much better workaround for us. It will require some extra plates, but we've got the plates, that's fine. That's not something we have to worry about. Um, let's see here. Ten and six. They're certainly getting more than six. Thirty per minute, eighteen per minute. So it actually requires less per minute. Okay. So we can just remove those screws now and see what we can hook up. So I'll unlock the stitched iron plates. And we'll start to mess with that. It's less plates per reinforced iron plate. Yeah. Uh, that is in our library. Stitched iron plate. Please and thank you. So that means that we no longer need screws coming in. So I can remove 
I could actually keep those constructors and just send this copper over there instead. Let's do that. So if I keep... If I got these two and I switch these over, it's going to be 37.7 wire per minute times two. That's 75... No, 90, 80. Joel does math live. 37.5 times two, 75, I was right. Okay, and one of these guys does not make 75. Makes 30. So I'd have to do at least two. This only needs 15. That's fine, okay. So I can do the other one, which is doing 15. Oh no, these haven't been split. Sweet. Okay, we're good there. So uh, we can, in fact, remove this and that. I can pull the screws so they'll stop once things empty out uh, and then we'll take the copper from this switch this to wire so you're now going to be making wire And we're going to have two of you making wire. Oh, he's not on the middle. It was dumb. I'm going to put another one right next to you. This is like the slow, slow switch and expansion of this stuff. Uh, that's going to be in the way. So we're going to back you up a little bit. That's a little snug. That might not work with that in this position. So... We can back you up instead. And... Rotate this guy. And then we can just put a splitter here. Copper. I just need to hook you all back up to power from, uh, I would say, probably here. So that is getting 30. Sending out 30 that's being split into 15 and 15. And then these will need to be merged and sent over to our uh, other stuff over there. So I think we're going to do the merging right here. Now I just need a lift. One, 
two. And that will get us over to here where we can then split it right here. Wherever that lines up. Right in line with that, okay. We'll switch it around this way. Fix that in a minute. One, two. That was not planned, but I'll take it. Well, I didn't line that up, did I? Oh, it's a little off. Okay, that's fine. Still work. So this was plates. This is screws. This is no longer needing screws. No longer needing screws. I love deleting screws. Screws are such a bane of your existence in this game. The faster you can get away from them, in my opinion, the better. All right, so now we've just got plates coming in. Oh, my monitor went dead. Oh, we're back. That was weird. wonder what happened there. Uh, we'll do this to screws and this to... That's getting plates. I think I'll just go to the other one. And then we just need to switch the recipe. Oh. It's going to be a pain. Stitched iron plates. And this needs the plates coming back. So now I need to figure out how many plates we need. So it's not going to be 100% because we're not, we're only setting in 60 cable per minute and it needs 75. Um, however, if we change this to 30, was that 80%? How's that for math? So 80% now, we're doing 4.5 per minute and. We need 15 iron plates per minute, so we need 30 iron plates per minute. How many are coming in here right now? Where is that coming from? That is coming from you, but you are combining. So that's 20, and this is 20, that's 40. That's a merger. So that's 40 here. And the 40 are being sent along. And then this is splitting off and going into storage, but this is full. So that's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with sometimes this getting, uh, it's still sending 30. This is being split 10 and 10. So it's sending 30 or 40 and I'm okay with that. So now we just have to take this here and split it just like we did this one. Uh, and we'll just do it this way. Oh, maybe not there. Uh, let's go directly under this. much sliding around. The uh, new belt mode is so good for building up high. It makes your life so much easier. 
There, so now we've gone from six per minute to nine per minute. And we are no longer using iron for screws. So that means that all of these are freed up. It's only the plates that are going right now. And even these plates could be run off of one. And they're currently being run off of two smelters. Well, I could also free up a smelter if I need to. Awesome. Let's just do that now. full of probably garbage. Uh, yep. That. And... Yeah, it's close enough for a temporary build. I'm not too worried about it. Try to stay on top of those little um, build chests, because if you don't, they pile up, and it can be a real pain. Uh, we have a different chest for that now. Say chest, we have a different container. Quartz was like a hundred or something. Thirty to unlock those. Crystal oscillators. Okay, so we're kind of stuck until we get manufacturers. All right, so that's a good chunk of things done. Now I need to hook up my concrete again. And we'll do that, I think, with a bin. So I think what I'm gonna do is rotate this guy. Plus we can update this to a uh, Mark II miner. Oh, I don't have the have the other thing. Portable miner required. Do I have one? Do. Constructor. These impure nodes are just going to be used for purely um, concrete bins for building. Now, can I get that bin a little closer to me somewhere? Yes, we can dismantle that. please. Just need power. Now we've got another concrete bin that's really close by and then we'll just continue this 
into there if I can. Not ideal, but that's fine. Cool. I do have Dimensional Depot, yeah. I totally do. Um, we were using it to manually upload stuff, but we are currently low on the, the cables. So I need to do another one of those constructors and feed some cable nearby. I think these guys could help out. This is now spoken for. This is just doing all kinds of stuff I don't need it to. So what I want to do with this now, I think, is I, ma I could manually just do some cable here. Again, we're just really tight on space. How to do this, how to do this, how to do this. I could start to dismantle some of this, which could be handy. Uh, we really don't do much with leaves anymore. So what I could do is disconnect this. Let's just make this a different color. And we'll put some wire in there. And we'll change this to be cable. And we'll do that. This is really dirty. <laughs> it's it's just gonna it's just gonna not clip. I discovered this one time playing on my own. Like it is really tight. But that's fun, right? Like the fact that you can do that with some belt objects is is pretty good. this is now making cable and what we need to do is just grab a bunch of this stuff then we can just put that over here and keep on trucking on our automated wiring slow I got lots of cable. Wire. I mean, I always conflate the two. We don't need electromagnetic control rods that I can see for anything in the near future. I should probably sync those. Because that would be down like a really difficult level maybe. So let's do that. They're pretty common for hard drives. What do you mean? Picking them up? That should be some decent, decent points. I'm trying to balance the getting stuff done and, and getting ready to have like decorative stuff available to us. Hmm. That's a few more tickets for sure. I think there were 20 altogether. 
pretty common for hard drives, like alternate recipes. Not until yeah, I'm miles away from nuclear. I've never done nuclear uh, nuclear in the game. I'll take a quick six tickets though. That's not a bad, not a bad deal. Thirteen. Quarter of the way there. A little over 300 now. And what we're not doing right now is the smart plating. And that is because we are making rotors, but we are not making So now we have enough of these that we could be doing smart plating as well. And I really should do that before I start messing around with other stuff. So we could put another one here once I get some cable to make it. Reinforce iron place and rotors. So what I'll do is just redirect this over to there. And then our smart plates, or not smart plates, our this is nine per minute and we need six. So I can do that. This is being split. That's a merger. That's a splitter. I can just do this split one more time. We're just going to go right around. I guess I have to go up here first. So this will be three when we need two, and now I just need power. Smart plating, and let's not forget to set it up in a bin. just slow. We could actually redirect some of these screws. What does this need for screws? This needs 100 screws per minute. This is not 100 screws a minute. That's 60. So we've got other screws back here that were no longer being used. This is 120 screws a minute. I can just take you. You're doing 40. I'm buying you over there. Now you'll be doing the full 100. You'll be producing at 100% capacity instead of 60. 
and this will pick up. Little bits of um, more efficiency and more balance I find as you expand is nice. Don't need that floating around. I'll leave this sec section here in case we do need screws for something. So now in the background, we at least have the big items, the, what are they? Versatile framework and smart plating are being made automatically and stored in bins that can hold them. This feels really slow. We're good. It needs 12, 30 per minute. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Why are you so slow? Or require 60. That's why we're only doing 45. So these are, yeah, okay. Um, I could add another smelter. That is 30. No, 60. Needs 45. That's why that's so slow. Yep. Uh, let's do. Forty-five. Needs sixty. Of course it won't fit. I feel like they changed the hitboxes in some of these. Like, that to me seems like, why wouldn't you be able to put those close to each other like that? That feels like a, that feels like something they should have been able to let us do, right? They're also floating, which is weird. Uh, I need to, that's a splitter, so that's fine. I'll need power for this. And then I just need to split this instead. This will not be pretty. Forty-five iron ore per minute. We're definitely going to get the coal. I just need to double check that miner. It might be worth it just to put a power shard in there quickly. We'll see. I might also just 
increase the miner. This is a Mark 1 60. I've been meaning to put an extra miner on there anyway, so that's what we'll do. Need to go get the extra portable miner. Um. Glad I checked. Glad I checked. I need to start making these in the background too. We're not making these at all. Twenty. We need to change all of these. That should be fine at sixty. Now we just need. A constructor, which may not fit here. Oh, that's annoying. All right. Let's move it around. Almost can take a container in our inventory now. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. But now we're going to be doing 90, and we're going to have at least one constructor. So now we've got the steel beam happening, and that will go at a proper rate. So 15. So it'll be at 50% instead of the previous 30. Still not ideal. All right. I think we've got a good chunk of our um, space elevator automated. So that is going to continue to get its stuff. I just need to double check that's actually getting it. Yes. Wait for a minute. This should warm up. This should be at 100. Should be slowly growing. 56, 57? Yeah. 75. Yeah. 
Cool. So that's going well. We'll check our smart plating. Grant Tiller is followed. Thanks very much for the follow, Grant. 23 of those. You slow, two per minute. But we are at 100% efficiency. Good, 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 good. And then the last thing is just to throw some cable in. Oh, sweet. In here. And this is at 25% there. All right, we're getting there. We're not 100% background, but yes, it is dark and it is time for a break. For folks that are maybe new to the channel, I take a break once an hour. Gives me a chance to zap the coffee, maybe even make a fresh cup. And uh, you get to watch the factory in motion or the, the platform mayhem in motion. Uh, and I will be back in about five or six minutes.
Okay, let's see what we can get done. Starting to look cleaner. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there, Dan. We are getting there. We're almost at 400. Less spaghetti, more noodles. <laughs> the smart plating is going to be the last one, I think. I should have been continuing to make smart plating. I, I should have never stopped. But mistakes were made. What I should do is just make a temporary bin. done with our wire oh gosh no okay it's just slow sweet okay sometimes I wish you could set an alarm to go off be just like hey uh, you've got a hundred of these made now go check the, the thing um, Although I guess we could do the math and be just like, this is currently operating at 50%, so two and a half per minute. And I need another, we'll say 350, I need another 650. So it's a couple hours, I think. 260 minutes. No, that doesn't make any sense. We're making two and a half per minute. And so 2.5. Uh, I need 650 divided by 2.5. It's 260. That's right, 260 minutes. Four hours? That seems long. I thought it was only three hours yesterday. So now I think we can start to think about what we're going to do with these iron nodes and how we're going to combine everything. And some of that is going to involve, um, I could double it up if you can. Um, I don't think we're making enough steel. I think that's the problem. I can get an extra 50%. I think I could maybe get... Um, what's this doing? These are making 90, and this is consuming 60. So I could add another constructor. Maybe. I don't want the truck to hit it.
It should be five per minute unless you have it underclocked. No, it's not that I have it underclocked. It's that it's it's um, it's underperforming. It's only doing fifty percent because it's only getting half the steel it needs. So it's not underclocked. It's just underperforming. I mean, I could also just do this. You know. Every once in a while, just kind of like push it. So that's a possibility as well. Okay, I need to be up high, I think. So I think the eventual plan is to have an iron facility kind of like a, a long, narrow build, giving room on either side of these cliffs for trucks or trains or whatever. And we're going to turn all the iron that's local into ingots and um, have it kind of come out this end because somewhere either in this area or more than likely over in this area is going to be the iron factory, which is going to turn the iron ingots into things like rods and plates and screws and all that kind of stuff. And I never know the math on what to do for plates and what to do for um what to do for storage and all that kind of stuff so we'll try to work that out uh, but the first thing i want to do is take a look at our map and know that we've got these guys marked so we've got untapped impure so i'm just going to put a mark two minor on those and i'm not going to um overclock them i will overclock uh these guys and actually that needs to be maybe i'll delete this and then I can remove marker. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these markers again. I'm just going to put them just a little bit farther apart. So we can label them and use them correctly. So this is a iron normal with mark two. And that's 120 per minute. Oops. And then I'll do the same thing. And it's not going to be exactly where it is on the map, but at least it'll be easier for us to click on them. They're spread out a little bit. And then this is the same thing. Okay. So there are, or are more iron nodes, and I want to see what's up here. So let's go up there, scan. Oh, almost made it. How's this doing? Not bad. That, I should put the depot on that. That's what I should do. Raccoon of the Apocalypse, hello, hello, welcome in. Need to redo all of my coal generation production, but it's going to be a pain in the, in the butt to kickstart it again. Yeah, I agree. Uh, we're starting to creep up. We're getting close to our max consumption. Um, for consumption, current consumption is all over the place, but yeah, the max is not. Near. I thought there were nodes up here, but maybe there just isn't. I thought there was. I guess it's just slugs. Maybe it's the hogs that I'm remembering and not the nodes.
But there are two nodes here. They're impure. Don't know if those are worth collecting or not. At least not right now. I wonder if I should be putting these in their separate categories like iron nodes instead of resource nodes. other ones over here there's three I think or four having just passed the phase three mark I know that as soon as I unlock mark five I'm going to tear down my factory and modify by a failed bus for a real main bus yeah the the main bus for me is kind of where I want to go to um I, I don't want to do a giant factory because I'm doing that in the other save I want to do like smaller factories like single task factories uh don't you love that feeling when you accidentally nick a power line while removing a factory and get a slight heart attack that there's no with the no power sound <laughs> yeah the no power sound is real they really made that visceral in that all right uh scan again there's definitely four right here and these are all they're all impure that's annoying I feel like that's just going to be worth one marker. So we've got six impure there. We've got two impure there. Uh, even with a Mark II minor, that's only going to get us 60 on each node. But we could pull it all. And I didn't see any more. There's more down here. Those are all impure as well. I don't, and those are too far away. Um, so I'm debating if I should just do these normals plus these two, just bring them all into one facility right here, and then have these be something separate, uh, or have this go into some sort of like conveyor bridge and bring it down. Because um, I've I've done that before, where you just kind of like put it all into a a long, a long thing that comes along here and drops down over the cliff. So we could have something central here, which would look cool. Once we decide where the building is going to be, we could essentially bring the iron ore down over the edge here. And have it all smelted in this one one building in this area figure out where the center is and try to have everything belted in it could look really cool too we could have a pretty pretty solid line of belts i think that could be that could be worth doing we'll have more iron than we know what to do with the problem of course is that 
it'd be kind of overkill at first for iron. Um, so we'd have to power it. Okay, so let's take a look at some numbers then. And I guess we can do that in a sheet. We'll probably just do a new a new sheet. We'll do grass yield. And let's make it green. So we've got iron, and that's going to be uh, what do we say? So three normal nodes is going to be our main source, plus one, two impure, three, four impure, eight impure nodes. So the quick version of that, we'll separate the normal ones. So we've got three times normal. We've got eight times impure. And so... That's going to be, these are going to have mark twos on them, which means that it's going to be three times 120, so that's 360 per minute. Right? And then eight impure, and that's all, they're also going to have a mark two. Actually, these are going to be overclocked. So this is going to be 900. Uh, these are not going to be overclocked because that's just a waste of power shards at this stage. Uh, eight impure nodes, mark two. They're going to be getting 60 each. 480. Uh, so that's a total of 13... 80 iron ore per minute. Uh, we don't have anything above a Mark III belt at this point. So we'll plan for having the Mark IVs. Yeah, we're going to need the 480 belts. Um, just out of curiosity, does this divide by 480 evenly? I don't think it does. Two point eight seven five. Nope. Um, equals thirteen eighty divided by two seventy. Twenty. Eleven and a half. So the belts are just not always going to be full, and it's fine. So minimum 1380 divided by 270 is six belts, or three belts.
And then an iron smelter is going to do 30 per minute, right? Pretty sure. Thirty in, thirty out. Correct. So that's equals thirteen eighty divided by thirty forty six smelters. Not going to be the easiest. So we we might just not grab all of the ore. Um, just to have a better number. Because if we drop like one of these impures or something like that, then it's not as bad. Um, and just out of curiosity, what does a smelter need to be powered? Four megawatts. So it equals 46 times 4. Uh, bring them all in and let the overflow go to an awesome sink. Yeah, I could do that too, Sandy. Um, it's, no, it's not so much that. It's more about having them be set up evenly. You know, like 23 and 23... Because I'm going to use the blueprint designer to do this. And it would be cool if we could have a number that would be easily divided into like floors or belts, right? Because something that's nice about 900 iron ore per minute is that's like 30 smelters per, right? So like divided by 30. Yeah. So that's 30 smelters just for those three. And then if we just did something else where... You know, like that's three rows of ten, you know, six rows of five, that kind of thing. So I'm o I'm often okay with like underclocking stuff. So like for example, instead of thirteen eighty, if we wanted to get rid of hundred and eighty iron and just do twelve hundred, right? So if I did if I made these eight impure come out with three hundred instead, then we'd be at twelve hundred. Right? And then 1,200 is 40, right? So it's a nicer number. So we could do that. We could just skip. Um, we could either underclock the machines or we could just not tap all of the iron. It just seems kind of silly to not tap the iron, right? Or vice versa. Uh, I could also overclock one of those impure nodes and just bump that up to like 1400 or whatever. So like find a number here, you know, 1300, 1400, find the common denominator. So 1500, right? So all we need to do is get another 120 out of that. So we could just push it just that little bit more to get 1500 iron, right? And then that makes the numbers a lot easier too. That's probably the thing that I'd be more happy with is pushing it to 1500. And then we've got either two floors of 25 or five floors of 10 or like whatever we're going to do, we can easily do that and split it up. So that's probably the best course would be to figure out um, how we're going to belt all that up and get that over here. And... I find in Satisfactory the easiest thing to do is to work backwards. So you figure out where you're going to build the thing and then start to backtrack. So you, you, need a, you need a direction to aim your belts and your balance and all of that stuff. We're out of cable again. How many more do we need here? We only need another 42. Each one takes 20 cable. 
40. Well, that's 600. And we're down to 42 staters. And it takes, each one takes one stater. So, weirdly, we have the exact right amount of staters. That's a weird coincidence. Okay. So I should be able to start tearing some stuff out. Just not all of it. Obviously, what was it that we wanted to upscale? We wanted to upscale something else. Smart plating? Why is that so slow? I don't know why that's backed up. Oh, it's because, it, is this backed up? I Did I forget to hook this up? No, this is just slow. It's funny how when things start to back up, they just snail their way all the way back to the beginning of both production lines. One, two, three, four, fifty. They're not quite halfway there. funny like I really want to get a bigger bird's eye view of everything So we could also go and get a little bit more progress on the Caterium. Uh, we could also look at expanding the coal power too. Where's the power pole? I think I'll wait for the power until we absolutely need to. So uh, let's See if we can't get a little Caterium going on. Because there was a couple things I wanted to do for exploration that I think would be good. Yeah, 100 quick wire. Don't care about the stun rebar. Don't remember what that is. Smart splitters, right? So that's 100 quick wire. 300 quick wire and then AI limiters. So I definitely need to go with like 300 quick wire. I don't know if I still need the silica. I don't think I do. That would be under quartz. No. I think we're good there. One hundred quartz crystal. I need thirty. I think I've already done that too. Yeah, I don't need the quartz crystal anymore. 
More power slugs is always a thing. 2x the modular frame out of automation. I think I did that. And that's also done. Yeah. Okay. Under sulfur. Compacted coal would be good. I think that's a good way to potentially increase our coal power efficiency. I'm going to say that's a fun thing to look into because I've never messed with compacted coal. And I haven't done turbo fuel before, but I'm not in no rush to do that. Power slugs, nutrients. Nutritional processor, that's not going to be a big deal. A waste of resources right now. And slots, caterium. So it's really just the... It's just the... Um, smart splitters would really be handy. Can't really do anything with that stuff until we get computers. Yeah. And then megafauna. Right. Um. We need more megafauna bits. Yeah. <laughs> Punish props. Joel, the new factory is looking super sharp. I'm impressed by your dedication to color coding everything. Thanks. It just it keeps it keeps it fun and simple. Uh, Transformer vibe, right? I'm not sure if Bumblebee's nearby, but there's a little yellow tractor flying around to pop out. So this is where we are so far. This is just the temporary progress factory. And um, the big thing that we changed today... Uh, Bill was um, switching our reinforced iron plates over to uh, stitched iron plates with the alt recipe. Uh, and we've been slowly stripping out some of the old screws and things that we don't need. Uh, so right now we're just kind of like waiting on um, right now the bottleneck is steel. We're not super fast on the steel production. Uh, and we are also slow on the smart plating. That's the thing that we need to expand upon a little bit. There's Bumblebee. Uh, and then we were working on planning a factory that's going to do about 1,500 iron ingots right here. And I'll tear all this out and put that in place. Um, I guess the other thing we have to figure out is where the copper production is going to go. I, I would be inclined to put the copper factory like up here and just have it do do its own thing and then bring the copper down separately because there's only the one node as far as i know that's close by so there's that one this one and then there's the ones down there so it'd be worth maybe pulling these two coppers together into something here there is uh the, that spire thing we have to worry about but yeah so there's a copper node like there ish and then here there's also more down that way i think oh no that's the one i'm thinking of over there i thought there was more iron over here too but it makes no sense to pull all that iron here i'd say we well i guess we could because that's going to be more efficient because those are those are normal nodes i think Go find out. A bit of a planning stream. Haven't really been able to do much building. It's tough when you haven't got the um, the phase three unlocked. So much prettier than what you've got going on. <laughs> Thanks.
I'm surprised. I feel like the scanning range is not what it used to, unless there's something I need to unlock to improve that. Impure, impure, normal, and normal. They really put them far away, don't they? Maybe we just focus on the normal nodes and not worry about the other ones. How long have you guys been putting into your, your playthrough, um, Bill? Are you like, are, are you, is it like a dedicated server? Do you do like a multiplayer thing? Or is it just local on your home network? I don't, th I don't think outside of a very brief stint with Cosmic, I've done any, um, I've not done any, any co-op stuff. It, Co-op would be a great way uh, to like push through the early stages quite quickly because you could have like two people like handcrafting stuff to really push through the early, early phases. Just local with Britain, you very cool, very cool. That must be really fun. Like just be in the same room and working on the same stuff and try to puzzle through things. That would be awesome. See, to me, this is not that far. <laughs> so that's why I think it might be worth it. Maybe we maybe we put the um the the factory in a different spot. Split the difference maybe. You put in 24 hours. Cool. Uh, how many of our hours have I had? That actually reminds me I should save the game. Uh, 19 hours. So I'm just behind you. 21 hours. Just behind you. Uh, Cybertron. 13. Uh, we've got... Phase. 2. Um, are they parts? I guess they're parts. Really close to finishing those. I feel like it might be worth it to just hand feed this a little bit. I guess we could also like bump up the the iron production a little bit too. These are both getting no, they're not quite what they need. They're getting enough coal. 
Why is it only 67%? Oh, because this is full. Right, I don't have enough of these going. I wonder if it would be worth to quickly rotate that and see if I can double up on this. Let's try it. Just being impatient. This is just those. Just need another assembler. the wrong spot for that. That needs to go here. And then this just has to connect those. No! Accidental hypertube. First one of the save. <laughs> Happens at least once, right? Automated wiring. I just need to make sure this just goes into a bin. Um, Certainly not pretty. One, two, three, four. We're almost halfway there. Uh, that's the wrong thing. I needed that. Okay, this is doing Mark 1. Uh, that needs to be a Mark 2, I think. 45, yes. And then this is going to be doing 15, so that should be fine. That should speed that up. We hope. <laughs> and this is just super slow. I'm 
why are we only getting... How are we slow on screws here? All right, let's figure this out. This is doing 40 screws. That's a Mark 1. That's a Mark 1. Did I not change the belt? I didn't change the belt. This is now doing 60. My bad. This is dumb. Yeah, I really feel like a better playthrough would be to have like a dedicated section for space parts rather than having it be all over the place. I should have had a bunch of assemblers just dedicated to doing space elevator parts. getting enough plates for these? I think we are. No, we're not. These plates are coming from over here. Fifteen per minute. Why are we not getting enough plates? This doesn't need to be making screws anymore. I don't understand. We're making two, we've got two constructors doing plates here. There's 40 being made. All right, let's get rid of this storage. And just now it's just going straight 40 being split into 20 apiece. That's weird. It should have been fine. This is only getting half the ingots. Oh, it how's it? Needs 30. Oh, it needs 30. That was my mistake then. That's fine. We'll just do this. Yep, yeah, I did the math wrong. That's fine. fix that. Uh, we should have lots of plates and storage. Oh my gosh, yeah, we're fine. I group different things together so I know where I have them rather than group one line of manufacturing. Yeah, no, I, I should be doing the same thing. Really the best way to do it if you've got the patience is to do a main bus, but like I just, I really wanted to power through the early stages of the game, so that's why I didn't do the main bus. Uh, this was set to do plates, which we don't need. Rods are still doing rod things. We don't mind having a backlog of screws. This isn't actually doing anything yet. This is all being made over there. So I don't want to screw with that. Those are rods. Those are screws. Right. Slowly cleaning up this area, which is good. Uh, one thing we could do is measure the distance across here and start to plan where we could put something. Um, so that might be what I do uh, when I get back from my break. I'm going to do that thing where I take a five minute breather because it's getting dark and hard to see. You guys get to hang out at the top of the backup and review platform or the burp. And, uh, 
maybe we'll look at unlocking some stuff in the awesome sink as well. Cool. Uh, I'll be back in five or six minutes, folks.
Okay, I think it's time to start measuring to figure out where we're gonna align this this factory. And I know here we've got this rock and I wanna kind of figure out where that line is. So I think we want it at least, I don't think we want it to start much more to the left than here, maybe even here. Yeah, so I'd say probably about there. And then on that side, we'll have to go down and check. Right, so we've got, I can build above this. I'm not worried about this. But this I can't move. So, I think we'd want to do, what's a high thing? Let's get up on top of this. I'd want to be at least three foundations away. Although we have to worry about that. Maybe I do have to worry about that rock. Plus there's those rocks. So let's go one, two, three. So here, so underneath the awesome sink, that's not very wide. Yeah, that's only what, eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To fit it kind of in the middle. I think that would be in the middle. Let's uh, change the color of these for fun. We got one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Just the middle. Be kind of hard to tell whether that's kind of the middle of that area. It's probably not too bad. Probably not too bad. Yeah, I'd say that's probably the middle, halfway between that point and this point. We could be we could maybe push it a little bit farther. Go to nine. Although that doesn't really give a lot of room here. And we're just we're gonna have to deal with those rocks at some point. It is always tricky, I find. This is the thing that I find the most tedious about the game is it's so big. The scale in the game is so big. It's really hard to plan with the environment. We also have this road here. Like, we don't have to leave room here. So I could also just expand right over to here and have this not be a, a thing. Um, but then it's not going to look like it's in the center. So it's either this or nine. Seven or nine. They mm. gave us some really interesting colors. And then we've got for smelters, um, if we look at the size of a smelter, like we've got probably some room to walk around. And then we can fit like one, two, three, four, five, right? Uh, or we could fit 
lines like this uh, and have some space in the middle as well. Right, so you've got walking space. Logistics floor will be underneath things. So my guess is that it's probably more likely that we'll do smelters like this. Kind of in a row like that. Because, I mean, how many could we fit here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, we could just... We could squeeze ten in that way. If we really wanted to. Probably actually this, you know, the other way around. So if we went with the... We went with the nine wide. We could fit... 10 in this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. So that's one way we could do it. We could have 50 really on one floor. We wouldn't have to go very high with this at all if we went with 9 wide. If we go 7 wide, it'll probably have to be a two-floor facility. Um, but that will give us the... Um, it's a control. Yeah. Going with seven wide and not as dense would give us more room to walk around the middle is still middle i think middle is still middle it feels like it should be more to the right but i don't know i really won't know until we actually have like a platform here that i can paint a square on right more room to decorate, yeah. So that's that's the thing. Like I think that it would be better to go with a seven wide facility. And it's not to say that the whole thing has to be a square. We could go with like seven wide in some parts and nine wide in another, right? Like it, the thing could have a different shape to it. The building doesn't have to be a complete rectangle. Um, I think I mentioned earlier that I was looking at Ironhide and a couple of the images that I really liked. I like this and I like the... Kind of like the his belly looks like a furnace i think that's kind of cool and so i think if we could do that i also like the gray kind of like peeking out of this red frame so if we can sort of have this sort of look like it's on its side you know like so this would be the roof um where his like his sides are would be like the ground you know around us that could be kind of cool uh ironhide also has like some alternate Sort of vibes to him but they do they do kind of focus on having like a lot of red a lot of glowy parts he also has kind of a mohawk no matter what version you see he tends to have this kind of ridge on the front of him like this vent on the front of his head which i really like so we can maybe incorporate that but i really this is the image that i really enjoyed um where'd it go oh no i lost it there it is yeah, I really like this one. Um, it reminds me of the Cybertron games, which were really cool. There's so much AI stuff now on Google, it's really hard to find good images. But he transforms into a van in the old cartoon, so I want to go with more of his Cybertronian kind of like space truck vibe. You know? But this, this is good. I like that a lot. <laughs> I don't remember putting a bin way over there. Where did that come from? Huh. I must have clicked like way in the distance or something. That's wild. <laughs> so I could temporarily sort of raise this up. So one, two, two,
think that's right. Yeah, so there's the rock. I want three units of space. One, two, three. So that would be the one edge of the potential platform. And then I was going to go seven, so we'll go another six in that way. That unfortunately puts the edge over that edge over that rock there. Two, three, four. It's starting to feel fun to build big. I do miss a little bit. Zero, hello. How were the birthday celebrations? I meant to ask you before, was it your birthday? Or was it somebody else's birthday? Delara, hey, how's it going? Some familiar faces coming to chat. Always fun. See, that to me does not look like a very big building. So I'm a little concerned. But this is where I think that we could do several floors. But I don't know if that really feels like it's... That feels a lot farther from this side, right, to me. This feels like a much greater distance. So maybe we can add two over here. If I if I can get this, if I can encase this rock and just build above it, I will 100% do it. But then it's a little narrow through here too. I don't know. So maybe I think it's the same decision between seven and nine foundations, but I think the two, instead of going one on either side, I think the two might be over here. I think that might be what we're looking at in terms of planning. One thing I did not think of was, uh, yeah, so none of my blueprints from my other saves are here. I'd have to look to see if I can bring those in maybe. I'm happy to do new ones. Taking a break from Satisfactory by deforesting in Minecraft and lighting up tunnels. Very cool. Uh, nice. Two of my friends had their birthday together. Oh, that's cool. That's a fun. That's a fun out. Fun night out. That feels like a more substantial facility. And we could still plan on doing seven inside, giving us a depth of eight meters of detail work and walls and ridges and kind of cool stuff that we could do. I may also just be... Maybe I shouldn't build it here at all. Maybe we should have everything here go into like a truck stop or something. Or just have the... Or have everything here come up into a series of belts and have the belts bring everything over here where there's just more room to do something more interesting, right? That could be a good way to do it, too. Instead of having um, a building smelting everything, we could have um, just all the belts coming across the biome in a, in a belt. That would be like maybe three foundations wide, just until it gets past this rock thing. 
and then we'd have this space to do something interesting. I don't know. I've, it's just, it's so hard to figure out. I mean, anything that I do in terms of trains or trucks is going to be above the ground, so I'm not, I'm not going to be driving on the dirt, so to speak. We should check our automated wiring. It's probably done. Not quite. What did we run out of? Staters? Cable? Ran out of cable. Uh, 88, we only need 12. Is that a timer for six minutes? No, not even. Five minutes. Also delete some of this. going through we're getting closer to that max consumption I wonder if it's gonna be worth popping over and just adding another miner and another layer to our coal facility well you know what we we wouldn't even have to add another miner we can just uh increase the we could just increase the um the miners over there we're still using mark one miners that might be a better use of time let's stick a stack of concrete in there oh it's still going um, mm, mm, mm. need another two of these. We will need old gens. Just in case. Just in case. Gonna need more plates than that because of the belts. Got copper sheets. I think I've got everything I need. We don't want to overclock the miners just yet. I need two of those. That should be everything. Oh, concrete. Let's get some extra concrete. Even though I know I've got some in the depot, we're gonna get some more. Nice. I think that'll set us up for when we do want to expand this this plan for the smelting facility. Having the extra power, I think, is gonna be very, very helpful. Needed a break from A to being sassy with you, I get that. I don't, I find that it is a little tiresome that there's always a weird, you know, organ entrails art kind of spicy Ada message. I think that they could have done it like every once in a while instead of like every time you interact with Ada. I 
I think a fun thing that they could do to expand the game, um, at like for, so for probably very little developer input and cost, would be to add more lines over time, so that um, either the early game becomes more fun for people redoing it, or that new people have different experiences. I think that could be a very easy way to um, to kind of. Um, broaden the game. So we're going to go to the left, I think. We're going to expand to the left down there with the coal gens, and that'll give us another 50%. So we'll go up to 900 megawatts. This is a lot trickier than it looks. So we'll beef up this other this other coal gen and get it to a level two. I think we should be able to stay flat here. Excellent. Leave a little space down here for the middle. So it went a little bit too far, and it's fine. I actually like that. We can cut it back and have it not dig into the into the side here. I like that better. So this will just get split and we'll do the same thing here. Invalid shape. Oh, that's weird. What is going on? See, I guess I'm just grabbing the wrong side? There's something about the straight mode is really screwy sometimes. 
weird. And that's not clipping in. I just wasn't hearing it. That was going to be a crash for a second. That was a little... save is getting a little bit longer now. The auto save. So that'll be that. And then the other thing we are going to figure out is where the water is going to go. And I guess we'll just do that. I guess I'll just bring it up on this side. That's probably the easiest thing. Fit that just about in there, so that's good. Uh, let's go with center. I find doing stuff like this is kind of good practice. That did not line up at all. Why are you not lining up? So it's lining the center of the machine not this not the output that's dumb yeah that's not what i want at all huh Is that lining up right? Loads of power is nice expanding having. So if you place another pipe, will it center on the opening or the building? Uh, I don't know. I think I might have not looked at chat when you said that. Yeah, it's not lining up to the pipe. It's lining up to Maybe another machine? I don't know. And now I'm gonna do this kind of in there there I'm getting a line. I guess you just have to be precise with it. Yeah, I find that the snapping is a little bit strange because the little dotted line doesn't go far enough to show you what it's connecting to. So you're like, well, it's connecting to something. It should be the thing that's right in front of me. But that's not always the case. 
Now that I should be able to snap this guy to his friend. Then this should just line up pretty easily. So I'll have to redo this section. That will come up along here and do things. Uh, first, though, if I remember correctly, these were all this blue color. Because why not? We should really do something else with that. Let's do still have to remember all your old tricks for uh, replacing. Um, pipes because the straight mode doesn't work for pipes yet. I think they want to do it, but it'll be a fun little add later, I guess. Holes out here. Oh, that got placed in the wrong spot. <laughs> Just fits underneath the thing. Uh, I guess we'll do a little zigzag. Those guys are now on, and they will start to fill up the pipe and the water, and they're producing more than we need, and I don't think I yet have the ability to under or overclock them. Oh, no, I do. So we can save a little bit of power here. We only need 200, so I can actually tell this to do 100, and then I can... Exit there, copy the settings. Didn't say copy. Can I not copy paste settings yet? Does anybody know if that, that no longer works? There's no buttons here either. Is that a later thing? My control C and control V is not working. Is 
it maybe it's not on power i don't know so the only thing left to do is now just overclock that miner not overclock is uh, update the miner and create a splitter here that'll connect to this so we can i guess work this backwards Mark two, mark two. Not nearly as far as I thought it was going to be. Oh no, I should be able to make those. <laughs> uh, I need to automate these back at the base. You could copy and paste splitters. Hmm. our little note full power I'm doing eight That should be. He should now kick on. Any second now. Oh, do I have a. Yay. Try this again. I doubt he'll follow us, but we'll see. I like that he chirps. It's really fun. Uh, and then these were, I think, this color. There we go, 750, slowly getting up to the new 900. And that didn't take very long at all. 40 minutes, not even. And do I have some coal? I do. Let's split this and just get everybody going.
That should be everything fine. I don't see any issues. Anybody think of anything that I forgot? I can underclock these now to get these down to 100. Yeah, my escape key isn't working there either, which is weird. I wonder if the water extractors have got a bit of a bug. Just saves us a little bit of power on the front end. I know I did copy and paste on these on Megatron, so I don't know what's going on. You have to click off the side of the window before it works after entering a value in the overclock. Come on. It worked. But I'm hitting like control V and I, I can't there's no there's no indication that it's copying the settings. Control C controls control C control V. Uh, so the names of the doggos will be car parts? No, a spark plug was a character in the Transformers cartoon. I think, it, I think he was the adult. Chip was the kid. Yeah, no idea why the copy-paste isn't working either. Yeah, maybe it's a water extractor bug. Who knows? I'll try it on some other stuff back at the factory. I want to check to see where we are with our um, our um, space elevator parts. Maybe we'll hand deliver some over to get it to show up at the top. That's also not showing up at the top anymore. And I don't remember turning that off. Maybe because we're not close enough to the space elevator? Oh, I know it's a mechanical part, yeah. I think that's the whole reason why the character was named Sparkplug. I think he was a mechanic, and all the Autobots were hit T. Nope. It could be also because I'm in the, in the tractor. Oh, compass, no. Did I say compass? Yeah, I guess it was because I was in... Yeah, I guess it doesn't... Your objectives don't show up in... Two more, really? Uh, 40. So I need 35. So those are done. That's cool. How are we doing over here? Much better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fifty. That really made a difference. And then smart plating is going to be lagging behind, and that's fine. 
when the versatile framework is done, we can rededicate some of these machines. Yeah, we're only a quarter of the way there. When we uh, finish the versatile framework, I can I can re redo this to do smart plating as well. Hello, friend. Can I not grab you? There we go. There's something wonky with the hitboxes. That's for sure. I was talking with Total Eclipse on his stream earlier, and um, his chat was saying that it's harder to interact with some of the um, some of the buildings, and I agree. Complete. Maybe we should put all the versatile framework in there, or should we wait and do it all at once? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, fifty. Yeah. Hmm. Not that far. I could just run a belt over there, too. Now we have lots of power, although I'm not crazy about the up and down there. Why is that happening? Is that that last? Still a couple of them maybe stuttering, filling in? I may have to go double check that. Because that's like two of them coming back on and on off again. Yeah, it could be just the manifold filling in. Okay, you no longer need to be making these. Uh, what should we make in there? We should be making encased industrial beams. For me. And this ports. And I did notice there was quite a few rocks that I'd like to get rid of, so we're going to go do that too. I guess I should maybe cut these down to get the, the goods rather than just blow them up. We could always use it for fabric. That'll blow up. Got that one. Let's get this one. Revealed the rocks have been.
Don't know if that'll get all of them. I like that they go in sequence. That was a little close. Whoops. A little clearer. Was there anything else over this way? I think we're good this way. So now it's just it's that other section. back. Weird little gas particles from graphics are still hanging around too. It's not actually there, but you can still see it visually. Cool. That should be a smoother ride around. How many of those do I have left? Oh, still got 46. Sweet. Uh, I don't care about that anymore. I guess we'll keep it. I'm a pack rat, what can I say? We will put wood in here though. Cool. Waste not want not collect all the things, exactly. Exactly. No more tickets. The only other thing I can think of is trying to... That's now at almost 800. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So now it's just I noticed that the rotors are backed up. So I kind of wonder now if um, we can add another... So this is... Two per minute and two per minute. How many rotors are we actually making? Obviously more than two per minute. Four. And then this is... Uh, three. So we can actually increase this by 50% by adding another machine. I just don't really have the space. Well, as soon as those are done, which will be not too long, we can change this to make um, smart plating as well, and then we'll be okay. Anyway, uh, this is where I need to wrap things up, folks. Uh, I really appreciate everybody hanging out, but uh, it is time to move along. And, uh, wow, <laughs> I've sort of made a mess and I've sort of cleaned it up all at the same time. Not exactly sure how to... Uh, how to think about this but we're at that weird in between stage now uh, i'm gonna flip over and see who is potentially streaming that we can send you along to i don't know whether kibitz streams on saturdays or not uh if you have a, a, a satisfactory player that you would like me to send you along to i'd be happy to take recommendations in chat uh it's bits is still live i can send you there a total eclipse is still live that's surprising um that's late for them um, unless they're about to wrap up. If anybody knows if Total's about to wrap up, let me know. Um, but I'm happy to send you on. I got Blastor Blastroid is available on on um, Satisfactory. Uh, Poback? Is Poback family friendly? Just FYI. I see them in my recommended list. Delara, you're cool with you're cool with Poback? I'm happy to spread the love and Network a little bit. Let me just switch over here. 
Folks, this is the end of my stream day and my stream week. Uh, I may be back tomorrow. I feel like I'm probably going to take the day off, though. So just kind of keep that in mind. I will let everybody know in the Discord if I decide to squeak in an extra satisfactory stream. Uh, if I do, I'll try to do it in the afternoon, but we'll see. It could be an evening thing. Uh, you can, of course, follow me on social media. Joel Duggan, I'm very easy to find. You can check out things like the Spawn Chunks podcast and the Citadel Cafe podcast wherever you find your favorite podcasts or on YouTube. The Spawn Chunks is a video show, so you can watch us as well as listen to us. You can follow me uh, on Patreon and support the stream for $2 a month, less than a cup of coffee, and you get to help me out and get to stream more often. Uh, I love making this content for you. I'm glad that you're all enjoying this playthrough. And uh, I really appreciate the support, Sweet Sandy. I really appreciate the modding today, uh, especially with all the bots the last little while. It's been um, kind of frustrating for you, I'm sure. So I, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, you can check out uh, other podcasters and streamers like Pixel Riffs. Uh, you can check out people like It's Bits and Total Eclipse, uh, two folks that raided us this week with massive like 600 plus people raids. If you came in from that community, thank you ever so much for the follow. Uh, and for coming along. I forgot to mention, we ticked over uh, 20,000 followers on Twitch now, uh, which is really, really cool. So welcome in to everybody that's new. Uh, and once again, I will uh, see you all either tomorrow or possibly on Tuesday for a satisfactory stream. So um, I'm doing the spun chunks on Monday. That's going to be probably a full day. Uh, I will see you all later. Thanks ever so much. We're going to send you over to uh, Pobak, P-O-B-K-A-C. Uh, Joel Raid, hashtag uh, be kind and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.